Mike Chilson, husband and father, has very strong views on gun violence. Having grown up with a family of hunters and later on in life serving our country in combat, he has always been around guns and now his family is too. My wife knows how to shoot, my children know how to shoot, they're familiar with guns also, so they're not afraid, they're not curious, they know that they're off limits. Chilson believes America does not have a gun problem and violence is caused from within. I think it's, it's just violence uh, is evil. Uh, people have evil in their, in their hearts, whether it's a firearm or a knife or a hammer or a vehicle or anything, any inanimate object can be used to, to hurt or kill somebody. According to Chilson, this violence problem will not be fixed by taking away America's guns, but doing so is putting gasoline on this burning fire. If you look at Chicago uh, as an example, has the strictest gun laws in the country, but has the highest rate of murder and um, violent crimes used by, by firearms. While he believes in more lenient gun laws, Chilson's solution comes with some restrictions. He thinks we should arm our population so that the American people are not walking targets for criminals with illegal weapons. When you go to Texas, which is a total polar opposite, who has very lenient uh, gun restrictions, and the violent crimes are way down. Chilson's statements have some merit. In 2016, Chicago, whose gun laws are very strict, had a murder rate of 27.7, while Texas, who has much more lenient gun laws, had a much lower rate of 11.7. However, citizens with a criminal record in regards to firearms or mental illness issues should not be allowed to bear arms. Chilson has one last restriction for the general population. The forefathers let American citizens carry the same weaponry that the army and the government had at that time. But now, obviously, does a, does a civilian or a, just a regular citizen need a tow missile launcher? Probably not. But it's that gray area in the law that says, well, we have the right to keep and bear arms, but there's nothing saying which type of firearms that we can have. Chilson believes the laws we have now against criminals with illegal firearms should be more heavily enforced and looked over with these thoughts in mind.